So a question I have is, you can help uh, my customers and your customers. What's the difference between organic and biodynamic? Mm -hmm. Well, biodynamic is a concept that's actually hundreds of years old. And, like, you know, I don't know if you notice, if you read any kind of any material on it, like uh, the, the more, like, you know, this century, the 20th century, the cancer mm -hmm. and many kind of illnesses and allergies has become so much more uh, dominant than before. Now, it's not a coincidence. It's primarily based on the idea of what we eat. Mm -hmm. like, like, you know, hundreds of years ago, uh, Agriculture was based on biodynamic concept for the most part, which means that you rotated all the plants, like you know, when you planted anything, so you wouldn't plant the same fruit or vegetable to the same area in the farm because you wouldn't want to deplete the nutrition uh, uh, from from that layer of the soil. So like for example, carrots going to be on the top of the, the, the soil. You wouldn't want to, uh, you want to plant next year something different there that sucks up the nutrition from a different layer mm -hmm. of the earth, so have longer roots. And like, you know, so this way you don't always deplete the nutrition from the same area. Then you let the soil rest for a year and then, and then so on. So what we do, is we have that same concept that we adopted on our farm. That's what you call biodynamic planta planting. And then also, uh, we hold back around 20% of the fruits that we grow and chop it up and then put it back into the soil. So you don't rub, you have to give back to the soil. So the nutrition yeah. the nutrition remains uh, uh, like uh, in, the, in the soil. So that's actually really incredible. Now, that's one thing. The other thing is instead of using pesticides and chemicals to uh, get bugs and, um, and all kind of insects away, we use flowers, like you know, different kind of flowers have different scent mm -hmm. in the sense uh, that um, uh, bugs don't like. Right. You know, so so one of the things what we do is like we plant them in our orchards. You see row fruits or vegetables, and then you also see rows of flowers. And then the bugs don't like the way how it smells, and then they go to the neighbor's farm. Right. Uh, like <laughs> you know, so so and that's how we repel it. Okay, yeah. that makes that makes using natural ingredients yeah. to further fight like insects and bugs. Things other than pesticides and replenishing the earth by giving back 20% of your crops to keep that soil with those nutrients and ingredients and things so that when you plant again, it's the the fruits are much more much more much more active now. How is the translate to skincare? Well, actually, there's a few more things in there too. Is that instead of using um, uh, also based on the the whole non-pesticide thing, mm -hmm. we also use honey traps only. Like um, like you know when you have like a yellow piece of paper with like honey on it, and then the bug yeah. sticks to that. Instead of using any kind of pesticides, right. instead of fertilizers, uh, okay. we we um, we spray. Um, uh, well, like I said, like you know we we add put back. Uh, uh, the, the nutrition in there. Also, we have to have animals on the farm. Um, like you know, that actually just like hundreds of years ago, they soil the soil. Yes. Like, you know, so it's compost. As well as um, uh, we use herbal teas to spray the plants. So like, like you know, so to get uh, so it also helps against the bugs and helps to nourish uh, the plants even more. It's really interesting. When we pick the fruits, we pick it during full moon, which is. Interesting also, it's not anything spiritual, it's actually a physical thing. Yeah. It's like during the full moon, the gravitational pull of the, of, the, of the earth, just like high tide, like you know, the mm -hmm. water comes up, and so the soil is more moist. So if you plant during that time, you get better crops, and that's like the farmer's almanac idea. Right. And then when you, um, when you pick the fruits, the fruits are actually juicier and they have a higher nutrition content. So it's, uh, it's pretty much uh, based on that same idea. So therefore, the fruits we have um, that's grown by the have the highest nutrition and vitamin content and we pick those put it into our creams and lotions and in return it makes the products very result oriented and also extremely hypoallergenic so anybody who had cancer or um, uh, chemotherapy or going through like uh, or, or used to have cancer and at some point they're very conscious about not to put chemicals on their skin and um, also, uh, people who have very severe allergies, like anything they use always breaks them out, this will be the perfect thing for them. Even if you have eczema, psoriasis, or just super sensitive skins, uh, it would be the perfect thing for anybody. Well, after hearing all that, it makes me want to go and plant my own farm right now. Exactly, you should. <laughs> so encouraging and inspiring. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.